Good morning, Crystal family, and welcome to another episode of Crystal Digging. Today, we are in Nevada, in the Virgin Valley, and we are on our way to the Royal Peacock Opal Mine to dig some beautiful opal specimens. So we have arrived at the mine, as you can see behind me. There's a couple different options. You can do the tailings dig in these tailings piles, or you can hit up this wall and dig your own fresh opals straight out of the virgin ground. All right, so I have arrived at the wall that I'm gonna be digging the opals at today. I have started my little spot right here. Most opals are found in the bottom half of this wall area. So I'm gonna start right here and work my way in. Okay, so I started another test hole right here and found this cool boulder that's filled with some sort of decomposed petrified wood maybe. And check out this piece. That's definitely a piece of petrified wood right there. Beautiful color. I just found a few more pieces of petrified wood. They are quite beautiful. And then whenever you see these kind of white pieces, that's kind of a good sign for the opal because it forms around that. So this hole has some promise, I guess. And check out this piece of wood with a beautiful opal center. It's kind of just opaque but a beautiful piece. I am digging into the bank right here and I just hit a beautiful jammy piece. Check it out. Oh my gosh, this is definitely the best I have found yet. Look at that color in there. Beautiful module. Check that out. Nice big piece. Still from that same spot. Oh man, look at all that. When you find good opals, you're supposed to put them in water so that they don't dry and crack. Now check out all of these beautiful pieces that came out of that one spot really nice opal nodule and there's actually some flash in some of that check out all that color in there okay so I'm just keeping on breaking the same zone up and look at this piece nice limb of opal right there. Okay guys, I think I just hit another opal right here. See a little bit of shininess right there. I'm not sure if that's opal or if that's something else. Here's one that's loose. Look at that. Wow, and I think there's gonna be some more there. Oh my God, take film that, oh my God. Y'all look at that huge opal in there. That is absolutely crazy. So this has been amazing. I've only been here for about two hours and found another beautiful opal. Oh 
All right, here's my first kind of bluish, blue-white opal that just popped out, so there's got to be more somewhere. So I've been mucking out my hole right here, trying to get me a nice ledge to work on. This is pretty much where I found all those opals. And as I'm mucking out this hole, check out these things that I'm finding. There's a nice piece. And then look at this. Nice piece of common opal. Not translucent, but still really gemmy. And check out this thing that just popped out. A nice casting of opal in there. Wow. I see some red and green. Man, I'm definitely in the honey hole here, so I'm super grateful. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Look at that, just right there a piece of wood with some nice common opal. And this white stuff, that's what you're looking for. Whenever you see that, you know you may have some opal around. That's when you want to slow down and check out everything. So check that out, I just hit a piece of wood right there and it's pointing down this way. So maybe a good idea to follow it. And this wood is actually not petrified, it just got covered by so much ashes that it just got preserved. And it's actually more rare than petrified wood. So I've been busting these rocks and then all of a sudden this thing popped out. Okay, so as I'm digging this spot, I'm finding these ash balls. So you can tell they crumble up real nice. Little whitish kind of ash balls. There's another one, and that's an indicator for the opal. So it makes sense that I found a few. Here's some more. I'm gonna try to keep on digging. Oh, look at that. There's one right there. Some common opal right there. Now check out this huge piece of wood that just popped out. That's another great sign. Check out all these pieces and it's pretty well preserved. You just need to dig down just a little bit or just right at the bottom of the wall to find most of the opals. All right, Crystal fam. So it is getting late and it is time to wrap it up out here. I found an amazing amount of opals. People in the tailings pile found opals and the diggers next to me also found some really nice specimen. I'm super happy with what I found for only one day of digging and I highly recommend the Royal Peacock Mine right here in Nevada. It's a super neat spot, you can dig your own opal, get to keep whatever you find. They provide all the tools that you may need, so come on out and check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. And thanks so much for watching y'all, really appreciate it. We're gonna be heading to the next mine on our trip out here. Hopefully we're gonna be digging for some sunstone. So I'll see you in the next video.